the show where the backward compatible crew and their guests tell improvised stories through role-playing games. Previously on the Eden Program. Mr. Black, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I was not aware that you were saved. Guys, I'm a millionaire. Can you count me on this jacket? This place is shut down. Yeah? You've got to get out of here. I'm not gonna follow him. We're not who we are. That is patently ridiculous and impossible. Does the name James Jefferson mean anything to you? Uh, yeah. Because we just left him behind. Oh. Uh-huh. Episode 3, Devil's Run. This is Philemon. Are you there? Are there still security officers around? Y- yes. Can, can, can you hear me now? No. Mm. Why did you stay behind? That was stupid. I don't think I can run. <sighs> I'm pretty sure running is not... not um, in my job description. Well, just don't do anything too conspicuous. Maybe they won't notice you. Nobody ever does. <sighs> All right. Well, I, think, I hope. Uh, I I haven't told the other guys yet, um, but they've got three security forces on their tail. I'm seriously worried they're going to be able to to get to the gauntlet before they're overtaken. But uh, listen, you you just stay low. Um, I'm going to tap you in, but mute you. Okay. Um, if you need to say something to the rest of the guys, just just let me know because I can I can patch you through. It's a it's a it's a little bit of uh, jiggery, but I, I I can do it. I don't I don't hear anyone else talking out loud here. Is is it possible for me to talk to you without like saying the words? Well, it is a, a library. You might want to whisper. Is it possible? <laughs> no, I, and, and and he appears to be gone. So. All right, so you guys, the first thing you need to do is to see how. Uh, Far you're going to be able to get from the security because you, you look in the, in the rear mirror and you see a dust cloud. I checked the gas tank. Uh, you are headed. Uh, well, you've got lots of gas. Okay. But I... you are headed towards um, what appears to just be kind of a cliffside. And is it like coming over the hill? Yeah, I mean you're no, you, you're headed towards the, the the flat face of a cliffside. And he uh, any caves? He says. Listen, you can't see it yet, but there is an opening. Okay. Uh, I want you to aim for the dark spot. You'll see it. Uh, I want to aim for the dark spot. Yeah. I'm going to use fine detail as well. Oh, but I only get two kinds now. Two. Wait, aim for the dark spot? Yeah. You want us to drive? In the, in the cliff side. You want us to drive right into the cliff? Correct. There's got to be a cave or something, right? Right? Uh, I'm also going to cash in a fan mail for another card because... Okay. Uh, I don't. Tr- I don't trust this guy. We shouldn't be Look, driving into a cliff. I don't question voices in my head when they have good advice. Okay, and I don't want to figure out, find out what. We should find another way. I, do you want to find out what deintegration means? No. Okay. No. Good. You can throw in and see if you can think of another way. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I want to find another way in the cliff that maybe we could something that looks like we can like find a place to um, like hide behind or or sort of like basically find a way that we can make them think that we kept going and so they just kind of sure it's just a semi truck with a flatbed trailer that's easy with well I mean if there's if there's cliffs and mountains everywhere they, we could find maybe like a horrible a Frankenstein of a war truck yeah. a big rock or something exactly so go ahead and pull your cards then alright I'm taking another because I think that's like stealthy looking for like a place to hide I'll out take that yeah. one two one okay you both succeed um, the queen is the high card so feel free to narrate for us I do take your advice though I, I do uh, it's like there, in front of the cliff, I would say like there's like rock outcroppings, and you said there were ruins outside. The there city. are, yeah. yeah there so um, instead of just staying on, on a straight path, I duck and weave and slalom through the ruins and double back a couple times to confuse the tracks. Nice. And then head for the dark spot, which now appears to be a fissure that opens up. Yeah, it is. Not only that, but it appears to be like um, metal parts have been. Uh, stuck to the mouth of this cave 
and all around it, like this giant gaping mouth. Is it painted red? Orc mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is painted red. Um, and as you swoosh right past it, um, a big gate comes down. It literally like like chops off your uh, your bumper, your tail bumper, and a little bit of the the beetle is on the back there. The beetle is in front. No, the beetle's in the back. The uh, um, what the car did I say that it was? It was like a there was part beetle, part flatbed truck, and then one other thing. Yeah. Well, there goes the warranty. <laughs> I don't care about warranties. It just. We're safe now, right? It's like an old Bentley or something. We're, we're safe, right? Right. Um, it appears to, yeah. And, and you see that you see the flashing lights on the, on the other side, um, and then you hear gun outside. Yeah, pinging off the walls okay. of this gun. Um, oh, we made it, but okay, uh, that was the easy part. Oh, good. Chief, I think I found him. The female officer stands over you. She's holding some kind of device in her hand. I look up from my book. Can I help you? What's your name, citizen? Jim. Scan, please. She holds out a little tablet. I go ahead and just scan it. Okay. That's what I thought. It's Jim. You're under arrest. Come with us. Can I see some ID, please? She taps her badge, which she's wearing. It's got like a a, a, sh- a shimmering uh, badge shape, shield shape, and like a, a barcode. <laughs> right, right, yes. Um, and you, of course, have already contacted my lawyer, yes? As per regulation? Uh, you, you're not allowed a lawyer in this situation. Oh, I'm not, am I? You're an unregistered, sir. But now, you scanned me and my name came up. Please come with us. Fairly certain I'm registered if you scanned me and my name came up. You uh, are going to have to explain this to the chief. We're taking you downtown. All right, then. But I would also like my uh, lawyer present. We'll assign you representation if you desire it. I do. You find yourself in the back of the Humvee, surrounded by the troops, unless you choose to do something about this. They're going to take you to corporate. All right, let's go. <clears throat> All right. You're Fight in an power. interrogation room. Ugh. It's uh, clean, white, pristine, beautiful, and bright light. You've been here for quite some time. And then a well-dressed young man in a suit comes in. Um, by your eye, he can't be much past, gosh, 17, 18. And um, walks in sits down across from you. You requested counsel. Correct. I assume you brought a portfolio. He, he puts down a, a blank tablet. I'm going to read it. Yeah. See how many cases this guy's done. Um, hundreds. He is apparently um, about 120 years old. And he has represented some of the best. Any familiar names? Um, no. Is my name in there? Yes. As a matter of fact. Did he fail that one? No. What was it for? Well, do you mention it? I mean, do you mention it to him? Well, no, I'm, I'm reading it. You're reading it yeah. to him? or No, I'm, I'm just reading over the list reading of things. Okay. When I see that, what am I reading? Well, he was on your team whenever you uh, ran for president. Of, uh... Of, of the team? United States of America. Nice. Very nice, Mr. Senator. Um, <laughs> it's all in the all the notes, all in the file, because after that, you were sued, and after that, um, even though it cost you a great deal of money, um, you were able able to salvage your reputation and um, slink away. Basically, is what um, what occurred. That is until. Recent events. Sir, you're in a lot of trouble. Well, I would assume so, sitting here. Um, they're calling you the senator. Not Mr. Senator, not an a old form of your previous title whenever we had such things, but uh, 
this is your terrorist Namaker. Hmm. Uh, you're you're on the ten most wanted list. You're number four. Number four. Number four. I assume, of course, you have a list of the uh, the allegations. Well, uh, certainly. And he reaches over and and, and taps the uh, the sheets and pulls it over. And he does a strange thing. He actually clasps your your left hand to his in kind of an almost handshake motion while he does that. Um, and you see this, the the screen just shift into what appears to be his perspective, you would guess. Uh, so that you're now seeing what he's seeing. And then he kind of he gives it a tap and lets go, and, and you're you're now on his screen. Okay. I assume this list is, like, extensive. It's or... massive. Um, yeah. Basically, um, crimes against humanity and um, terrorist acts. Uh, strange things that you, you've never heard of before. Um, like... Uh, what appear to be almost religious crimes, uh, failure to to promote saves, stopping um, a born again event. What's the last thing on the list? The last thing on the yes. list. Um, well, it's dated today, and it's illegal entry to the city. What's the one before it? Yeah, the one before that. Yep. Um, well, it's actually been about five years, and it was the last crime you committed in the city. Uh, and then it was evading uh, authorities. Well, what would you recommend? If we how we should proceed? Well, sir, um, they have you on a failure to save and uh, no record of your rebirth. This is awkward. Can you explain to me exactly how it is you got here? Um, I've made sure that the recording devices are temporarily off little favor that they owed me so we can talk freely. Is this a guy I feel I can trust? He fought for you before. All right. I'm going to um, go ahead and add my other edge. Okay. And it's going to be fuzzy logic. A born politician? No, fuzzy logic. Because I'm a professional engineer, but I also understand that when you factor in people, logically, you have to factor in their emotions. So I can understand people by knowing that they have emotions. Love it. One. None. Oh. Uh, this kid's lying through his teeth. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He is a slimy lawyer. Uh, you don't trust him as far as you can throw him. So he's a lawyer. That's yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> One of the best if he's 200 years old or something. <laughs> yeah. 120. How old are you supposed to be, huh? Going by the rap sheet. What is it? Actually, only about 75. Okay. So roughly the same way that I left. Just turned around and came back. Whoa. There's really only a few ways to enter a city, right? Uh, yes. Illuminate me, if you will. Uh, you uh, stole a car? Which would be wrong, so obviously I wouldn't. You had a car. I mean, that in and of itself is a crime. Which would be wrong, so obviously I wouldn't. Okay, you walked? But let's back up a little bit. Where have you been for the last five years? Uh, soul searching. Indeed, indeed. And have you been with the concerts? I mean, is that allegation true? What if I told you I don't exactly remember? Okay. Um, well, do you remember the location of the conservation? That might help. If I don't remember, there's this problem you see. I don't remember. <laughs> well... What do you mean when you say you don't remember? I mean, was there a problem with the save transfer? Was there was there a download error? If there was, would I be here? Uh, well, if the authorities discover that there was, you're definitely going to need treatment. I mean, in in some rare cases, a, a, a re-download is possible, but uh, we, uh, they're telling me they have no record of your reintegration. Then obviously I must have never been deintegrated to begin with. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, You're saying you weren't safe. Looked in the mirror. Oh, I haven't really had time. You see, for the moment, the last thing that I clearly remember was being woken up by two other people who I assume had knocked me out. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Um, I appear to have lost quite an amount of time, though. 
over the over the intercom, uh, a voice comes over and says, "Enough of these games, Smith." Show him the video, and you visibly see the lawyer's face change into um, a smirk, uh, almost sneer. He goes, ah, "I didn't think that would work." And he reaches over and he taps the video, does a couple of things, or the, uh, the, the, the screen and does a couple of things. And it quickly switches to a picture of the old man that you saw on the desk's face. And he says, well, first of all, you see, you see at the bottom a little, a little um, text. And it says, Eden Program Security Log, Alpha Site 205411020347. Um, and then plaguing. And, and the playing is flashing. Um, the old man looks into it, coughs, and says, I suppose I need no introduction. When I created the Eden program, my vision was to create a utopia, perfection on Earth. I am recording this message to state unequivocally that that vision has failed. The Eden program is not what the company tells you, the propaganda is a lie. There's no salvation in the process, only death. Death. The following images are everything you need to conclusively prove this. However, I know that for most of you, this will not be enough. This is why we've done what we did. The message will now serve as my last will and testament, and the others will be the final proof that you need. All my remaining worldly assets are to be given to my genetic heir, I only hope that history will remember us kindly and forgive us. And then the video cuts off. The images described do not appear. What do you have to say to this? It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You recognize this man? Not at present. I mean... Well, now I know you're lying. Is this or is this not your best friend... The man that you have known for some 35 years and the man you escaped this city with five years ago. Is he here presently? Yeah, sure. Because I would assume if he was my best friend that I escaped with, he'd also be the guy I came back with, right? Yeah, um... I hate to tell you this, but uh, Job Stevens is dead. And you know this because... Because we have his body. We also have the body of uh, one rock star that you uh, apparently are an associate with. Number six on that list, by the way. Oh, I think I'm number one, dude. I think I got it. Um, not much into rock music, so... Yeah, here's the thing. We also have your body. So, I'm going to have to call you on that one. I'm sorry, because I seem to be sitting right here. And at Unless that, you're being predictive. And, and at that point, um, the entire wall behind you lights up with basically a morgue shot of the three old men, dead bodies. Uh, there, there's a sheet covering each one's naughty bits, but it's the same three men that you saw in the office. Hmm. You know full well, sir that the deintegration process prevents this very thing from happening. So, who the hell are you, and why are you wearing the senator's face? Mm. Keeping in mind, of course, that you look nothing like this guy, except the fact that you're, you know, 50 years younger. If you have a man, and... He's very similar than, than another man, but much younger. What would you assume? I would assume that he had been saved and reborn. Not that... As I have twice, I might add. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. He just kind of smiles like you should have known. So, I'm not following where your issue is exactly. You did not enter, nor did you exit the central building. In fact, you conducted an illegal procedure 
in the old Alpha factory that has been shut down for 20 years. Do you deny this? Yes. Genetic testing, the scan that was performed, says you are that man. And yet, that man exists. Dead, but here you are. Did you or did you not override the process and upload and then download your consciousness into this fresh body with the intent of re-escaping and continuing your terrorist action while out on the conserve. I don't believe that's possible. We didn't think so either. Then obviously it can't be done. So but, obviously that's not the case. But obviously it has. And yet you haven't considered the fact that maybe you have a body double? What are you saying? That you're someone else? A or twin that, brother? Or that what you have there is a body double. And that the people who accosted me, from what I remember, put me through it. Genetics don't lie, sir. You are that man. You are made from the material that man is made from. But science doesn't lie either. And we've already established that that's not possible. How could you acquire his pattern? I guess we'll have to go ask somebody. You are him. You have his knowledge. You have his guilt. You will be tried, and you will serve the sentence. Wait, wait. I have his knowledge. You must. I don't. I don't remember having his knowledge. That. That can't be. That's not how the transfer works. Then obviously I never went through the transfer. Then you wouldn't be speaking. You'd be a dead shell. Or I'm just somebody else. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Speak to me of science. I'm done here. He stands up and walks out. The door slams and you're left alone. You guys, you have entered the gauntlet. It is a twisting maze of wreckage. Mm. Um, Like wreckage as in other vehicles? As in vehicles, as in uh, some kind of city that was here... In is the it, canyon? In the canyon, yeah. Oh, so there, so there is... We just went through the canyon, like some sort of a wall, but we're not like inside a cave. Or right, no, we're oh. not. It's a canyon. I keep forgetting the voice of my head's name. Philemon. Philemon, now that we have, you know... Do we have time to talk? Or, or are they going to be on us still? Like, do we have to rush? Uh, I, I wouldn't get distracted. You're going to have to avoid the mines. Mines? Can you show us where the mines are? Uh, if I had a map, I would give it to you, but uh, you're going to have to follow the signs. Are there signs? Do I see signs? And you just see one pass. You don't quite know it. It said mines to the something-something feet. Why don't we back up? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to read that sign. I'm going to use my edge because I don't want to blow up. What kind of mines are these? Do they only trip when it's vehicles, or do people trip them as well? I, are you familiar with... Uh, I'm not familiar with any because I can't remember anything. Well, then I don't guess it would help. Thanks. Think large porcupines that explode. Underground. Right. Great. One success. One success. Okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're able to, to slam on the brakes and you come within inches of what appears to be kind of this giant, um, almost almost nautical mine. Just kind of hanging out there. It's like this giant sea urchin. Are we able to go around it? Uh, yeah. In fact, going slow, suddenly you're able to navigate this. Does it feel like I've done this before? No? Okay. Philemon, why were they after us? Apart from the intrusion. The, scan, seem, the scans will, will, will tell us the truth, but... Uh, Philemon, you're not telling us something. Philemon, it feels like you know something about uh, our names that we don't know. Listen, what is your relationship to us? <laughs> or who we were before? I, I, I've known you guys for, for years. We don't know you. And that's impossible. Well, the impossible just happened. Listen, if what you're saying is true, um, then I guess congratulations are in order. Oh, great, thanks. And at the same time, terrible, terrible guilt and shame. But for you or us or both <laughs> for, for, for every every human on the planet 
Um, so, con- so congratulations are in order. We're now like driving through a minefield. Yeah. Um, follow, follow the signs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Following signs. Is there anyone behind us? Are they still following us? No. They're not following us anymore. No, they don't appear to be. Then yeah, we should just go slowly then. Mm-hmm. So with uh, your navigational eye and his driving, uh, let's see if you are able to successfully navigate. Unless I just get one. I don't really think anything else. After that. There's some seriously awesome special effects in the scene. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna, I guess I'll go ahead and spend this. Should I spend a point? The truck right? has tracking sensors. Oh, it does? It does. Um, like so you can actually sensors? use the, the, ships, or the, the, the truck's onboard computer. Then that's what I'll do with that. Yeah. I didn't realize I had a computer. I'll do that. I'm going to spend my other It was clearly out. hacked in there together. I mean, it, it's like in the glove compartment area, which is really <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, two successes. One success. Okay. Two successes. Okay. Um, so you're able to um, steer him and navigate him, uh, you think correctly. Do you have a king? Mm-hmm. Okay. You, nav- uh, you, you narrate how it is that he is not successful, but you are. And he's the one that's driving? He's the one that's driving. <laughs> okay. So um, as, as we're going along slowly, I'm... Yelling at uh, good old good old Freddy. You don't have to yell. Yeah. I'm right next to you. I'm really tense in this moment, so I'm. Please stop I'm... yelling at me. <laughs> I don't want to hit it. What did you just do, Fred? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Bail out! I think it's done. Because we're not dead yet. So why don't you stop yelling at me? And just stay calm. Can we stay calm? Is that possible? I'll try, Fred. Because the next one probably won't be a dud. Well, listen to my instructions and I'll get us through this. Just drive a little safer. Was it like this, Philemon? Did we have to hide out in the desert like this? Is that who we were? That's who we are. Who are you? Who are we? We're the concert. What does that mean? Well, leaving aside long political tirades. Oh, boy. Uh, we're what's left of humanity. And I, I have to warn you, sir, uh, someone as young as you, stepping out of the truck, you're probably not going to get a very warm reception. Well, we didn't get one in the city either, so uh, nothing changed. Anyway, I'll, I'll open the gate. I can see you now. And this massive gate lifts from between two boulders. And are there's there, this dark maw. It is a cave. Is there anything in this truck that we could use as like um, makeshift we- weapon if we need to? Mm, yeah, there's, there's there's junk. But you pull into the darkness of the cave, um, and that's where we're gonna end this episode. Next time on the Eden Program. This doesn't make sense. And yet here I am. If I'm right, you won't remember making this recording. Now you've done it. Well, he's trying to get his thing to work. I sucker punch him out. Hey, watch yourself there, old man. Is that wise? No, it is not. It's security! I don't know how! It takes that Searing pain, high pitch yep. squeal. You move, we fire. Have a nice day. This has been Roll With It, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The Game Master for the Eden Program is Adam Doc Bracken, running Primetime Adventures by Matt Wilson of Dog Ear Designs. Freddie Black is played by Brian McKittrick. James Jefferson is played by Will Parsons. And Job Stevens is played by Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Kruger. For the Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening.